many of you here respectfully are about to get crash your life because you don't have value for anybody you have a narrative in your life i don't need anybody to hell with you you can go be careful who you are driving away from your life you may drive one man that is equal to the next 10 years of your peace go and find out what happened to the disciples when they ran away from jesus jesus is not the kind of person you run away from but they ran away and within 72 hours their whole life scattered peter that was gaining relevance in 72 hours peter went back to fishing and was wasting his time there when jesus came in john 21 he said little children have you any catch he didn't even know it was jesus he said cast your net to the right side when he casted his net as soon as jesus returned to his life in one statement he caught fish that he had been struggling and he did not catch is someone learning before i continue please lay your hand on your head and say lord give me the discernment to know the relationships that my destiny depend on lay your hands on your head and pray grant me that grace so that i don't use foolishness or pride or lack of discernment and destroy valuable relationships that can hold the key to many 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 chapters of my life hallelujah hallelujah now very quickly i'll read a scripture and i will show you how to maintain destiny relationships and will be done genesis 21 For someone when your life changes and people ask you you will tell them i came for this student congress and i found something i found a key hallelujah now for sake of time i will save you a lot of details genesis 21 let's start from verse 8. this was a story between abraham and his wife Sarah and a maid called Hagar, the mother of Ishmael. Please follow very carefully. Let's start from verse 8. Now, speaking about remember when Sarah could not bear a child. Are we together now? Abraham now had a child with Hagar, and the Bible says something that Hagar was Sarah's maid. But the moment she had a child, and she saw that she was now in a position of advantage something began to happen she started mocking and acting funny towards sarah and in anger sarah banished her and said go abraham said you can do with her whatever you want so this is a story you are about to learn verse 8 very quickly and the child grew and was weaned and abraham made a feast the same day that isaac was weaned uh-huh and sarah saw the son of Hagar, the Egyptian, now God had given her, her own, which was born unto Abraham. He said, Wherefore, she said unto Abraham, verse 10, Cast out this born woman and her son, for the son of the born woman shall not be heir with my son, even with Isaac. Verse 11, And the thing was very grievous in Abraham's sight because of his son. Now watch this. And God said to Abraham, let not it be grievous in your sight because of the lad and because of the born woman. In all that Sarah had said unto thee, hearken to her voice, for Isaac shall be thy seed, shall thy seed be called. For in Isaac shall thy seed be called. He says, and also the son of the born woman, I will make a nation because he is thy seed. And Abraham rose up early in the morning, watch this now, and took bread and a bottle of water and gave it unto Hagar, putting it on her shoulder 
and the child uh -huh, and sent her away and she departed and did what wandered in the wilderness she came to that house as a maid by reason of all that happened regardless what happened god lifted her and sorted her now she separated and wandered around the wilderness even to be a Sheba. next verse the bible says and when the water was spent in the bottle and she cast the child under one of the shrubs uh-huh and she went and sat her down over against him a good way off as it were a ball shot for she said let me not see the death of the child and she sat over against him and lift up her voice and wept now the lesson begins and god heard the voice of the lad and the angel of god called to hagar out of heaven and said what ailed thee hagar fear not for god has heard the voice of the lad where he is now watch this he said arise lift up the lad and hold him in thy hand for i will make him a great nation verse 19 and god opened her eyes and she saw a well of water and she went and filled the bottle with water and gave the lad drink next verse and the bible says and god was with the lad and he grew and dwelt in the wilderness and he became an archer and he dwelt in all of that and all of that now when you read that scripture let me tell you what i'm trying to pull out the bible said something very instructive that both hagar and the baby two of them were crying but the bible says when god had he had only the voice of the baby the bible never said he had the voice of sarah of um, hagar how come she was crying and the baby was crying and only the voice of one child went to heaven you know why because even though she was in rebellion she had left her maid that baby that came out of her was still connected to that blessing by covenant and because of that covenant god could not deny the child even though the mother of the child was in rebellion he cried she cried god only had the voice of one child notice god did not even say anything to solve her problem why are you crying hold the child i want to speak about the child and that's it how can i be crying and a baby is crying and god hears the, the cry of the child and comes and acts as if i'm not there gave her water and now focus on speaking about the child because he was connected to Abraham this is very powerful 